Welcome back to our YouTube channel. channel. Oh, Hi, Hi guys. guys, welcome back to our channel. We are sorry that we haven't been posting, however we are back. And we was going to make a video when we got home. But we are stuck behind a truck in Starbucks car park. Like, it's just, it's just parked there and we are stuck. Guys, we're stuck. I mean, unless you can try drive, but I don't think that's going to work. Does anybody else like cookies and cream frappuccino from Starbucks? I do! <laughs> We're starting to get the milk out now. <laughs> we've literally been here for about we, half an hour. Yeah, we've been here for about half an hour. It started getting milk out. It doesn't look like we're moving anywhere. Looks like we need to walk around the drive-thru and try getting another Starbucks. So, an hour later, we are finally at home. It took about 40 minutes to even manoeuvre the car. Honestly, guys, getting Libby's car out of that car parking spot without scratching Libby's car, without knocking the milk over, without knocking the man over, without doing anything wrong, it took ages. So many people were literally trying to go through the drive through We were getting so many dirty looks, I felt so under pressure trying like, to move my car. It was so bad because <laughs> where we were parked... Like, it was a normal car parking spot, but if we weren't parked there, people could have still got to the drive-thru and we were blocking it off. So, well done us. Anyway, Now we are back at home, we are answering assumptions that you guys have asked us on Instagram. So, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Why we not? I will like. <laughs> I've got a bit of an head injury now, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the first assumption is from Grace, who said, you're just as nice in person as you are on social media. Yeah. We'd say yes, we're probably nicer in person. So many people who meet us, like, out and about, who obviously watch us on social media, the first thing they always say is, you guys are genuine, such nice people. There has not been one person, has there? We are literally the easiest people ever to get along with. People like, come up to us we'll and speak to, We'll speak to anyone and we can speak to you for hours. Honestly, you can come up with, to us with your parents, you can come up to us with anyone, and everyone always says that we are just genuine, nice girls, but I think we're nice people. Yeah. Like, I don't think our family and friends would say we wasn't nice people. Definitely. Don't get us wrong, no one's perfect, but... We are nice people. <laughs> Assumption number two is from Mia, who said you both went through a chav stage. Yes. Yes, we both did. Very embarrassing. Yeah. But that was a time in our life that we went through and we can't change it. Yeah. Were you a proper chaver? I wasn't proper. Oh, I used yes. I used to think I was. I used to I, like... I used to want to be. I would have one of it. You would have one of it. I have one of it. See, look, I feel like I was a. What'd you say? Yeah, I was a chav. If like, if I told you stories, of back in the day, I used to try to dress like a chav. If that makes any like, sense, like tracksuits and like my, like, my behaviour. I was never like a nasty person. See, look, I was never nasty, but. I walked around Bradford going to Mackey's at like twelve o'clock at night. No, I didn't. With I didn't a do massive that. group of people, I'd never blasting do that. music. Well, I didn't think I'd ever do that, <laughs> but clearly I went through it. Right, so the next assumption is from Lauren, who says, Libby May was a player before she met Katie Lee. Yes. Yes, I was a player. I used to have quite a few people. Um, <laughs> a few people. Um, um, yeah, I was a bit of a player, but I think it's because... I was just, I don't know. You were just a player. I was just a player. There's no excuse for it. I just never found the right person and I, I feel like mess about. some people do go through that player stage and um, unfortunately, that was my Libby May who went through that player stage. But, Libby but Libby. you change for the right person. And guess who's the right person? Kitty Lee. <laughs> Look at you. Well, I'm glad that you made me to change you. Honestly, if you are one of them people, we are so sorry. That I am so sorry you if you're that. watching this right now, and, and I'm so sorry. Watch number four. So Ruby said to me, "You fancied Autumn." By the way, guys, Autumn is my best friend of fourteen slash fifteen years. Um. So. Oh, 
I well, wouldn't say I fancied autumn. I'm sure about that. I think you do at the moment. I might have done a little bit. <laughs> um, but I found Katie best friend autumn very attractive. At the same time, you found me attractive. But it was about. It was like eight months before me and Katie ever spoke like that. So. Yeah. Look at you trying to correct yourself, Libby yeah. me. Yeah, Libby made. I won't say she fancied Autumn, but she found I found Autumn her attractive. attractive. However, I'm the one who's ended up with this bundle of joy. Subject <laughs> number five is a subject that me and Katie Lee speak about every single day. And also, it's something that you guys always ask us about, so... So, Ellie said, you want a baby, but you are too young. Right, let us clarify something because we actually get quite a bit of hate on this topic. Me and Libby May would love children when we're older. Yeah, when we're older. But we know we are too young before everyone says anything. We just love the thought of having a child. We speak about having children because obviously it makes everything so much more exciting and fun, but not yet, not till we've travelled and we want to lived travel, our best life. We want to be financially stable, have a house, have a car, and like you said, travelled. Yeah. So yes, we do want a baby, but <laughs> nowhere in the near future. <laughs> Assumption number six is from Annabelle, who said you act differently in TikToks than in real life. Um, I wouldn't say we act different, but I'd say I'm definitely more shy in person. I'm not as confident. Oh, I'm, I'm just not as outgoing. Like, if you met me and Libby May in person, like, everyone can tell that Libby is a bit more Kate, shy. Katie Lee does all the speaking because sometimes I'm stuck with words and I don't know what to say. Like, some people are like, why does Katie Lee always do more speaking? And that is because Libby sometimes does struggle what to say, so then I'm just like, I've got to come in and, like, kind of speak for us both. But I wouldn't say we're different at all, would you? No, definitely not. Not at all. We're just, we still are happy, cheery selves. And they also put, I love you also at the end. Thank you. And also, thank you for supporting us. <laughs> Assumption number seven! Okay, what? so <laughs> Ella said Katie Lee would be the one pregnant. That is correct. We have spoke about this and we have agreed I would not want anything inside of me. It creeps me out. I don't like the sound of it. Katie Lee wants to be the one. Who gets pregnant. Who gets pregnant. Me and Livia have literally spoke about it so many times because some couples might have like a bit of argument over it but this is something that me and Libby would never argue about Libby does not want a child in her it belly keeps me out. like we've planned what we're doing like etc but no I would definitely be the one to carry the baby and that is a joint decision <laughs> assumption number eight is from Katie who said you're not always happy 24 7 like tiktok shows of course we're not as happy we're not going to show as mental health we're not going to like show yourself on those bad days don't get us wrong we do try and post like how like blah, 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 blah. we do try and post how we are always feeling however sometimes we have posted videos being upset or crying when we have had a down days and there is some odd comments who obviously say it's attention seeking but if we ever post a video like that it's not attention seeking obviously when we're down we're not going to want to post so it doesn't really get shown because we want to be positive and like spread positivity however we do want to remind you all that it is okay to have your down days but some people say it's attention seeking which it isn't we just want you guys to realize <laughs> that not everyone's happy 24 7 the next assumption is from sophie who said you met at a bus station the first day me and katie Lee met was in bradford bus station very romantic i know Honestly, you literally couldn't want anything more romantic. A bus station in Bradford. <laughs> what more could you want? No, we obviously met off TikTok, but the first time we met was at a bus station. Mm. Who thought of that? Mm. Well, we both got the bus there, so we just said bus station. Mm. Why did we do that? I don't really. No, I never do it's not something I want people to This know. is assumption number... 11? 11. With bus calm. <laughs> right. So, this so, person said, "This person said you're both very socially awkward." Yes, no. 
I am very socially awkward. And I am not socially awkward at all. Sometimes my anxiety just takes over and I can't speak and I get really awkward. I and, don't know what to say. And then there's me. If you've ever met me in person and I don't speak much and I get shy, I do apologise. I do love meeting you all. I do love speaking to you all. But then, unfortunately, I come in and make Livy stand there for about one, two hours whilst I have the conversation. And I don't know, we get worried that sometimes people might think that I don't let Libby speak. It's not because of that, it's because we would not have a longer conversation if I relied <laughs> on Libby to speak. I am not socially awkward at all, as in, I could stand She's on the She's the most outgoing speech, person you, know. you could ever meet. I just love speaking and, like... Having conversation with people, so no, I am not socially awkward at all compared to my girlfriend. But what they do say, opposites Next attract. Next assumption is a question that we get asked all the time. So Imogen said it was hard coming out to your parents. Not for No, me. and yes. I did struggle to come out to my parents. It took about four years to come out to my mum because I was scared of what my mum would think about me. And I thought she was going to judge me and not look me in the mouth. You know what you do. Oh. <laughs> I just, I didn't think she'd believe me, so it took me longer and, yes, it was a very hard time. It was quite easy for me, but my mum didn't believe me. My mum was very understanding and I wish I came out sooner, but I didn't. But it was just a phase. Yeah. Wasn't it, Livy? Yeah. It was just a phase. Right, so this is a very funny assumption. So, someone called Evie said, Kate Lee isn't actually gay. She just uses you for clown. Is this true? This is actually very confusing. So basically, guys, um, I definitely do not lie about my sexuality. <laughs> I do not label myself as a sexuality. I wouldn't be with Libet if I didn't find girls attractive because that would be very hard. And how could I use my girlfriend for clown? Like, me, when me and Libby May first got together, we grew together, didn't we? We have literally grown on social media together. Not just one of us. We I've not used Libby for clout. Libby's never used me for clout. We've grown together kind of thing. So that is a very odd assumption. However, thanks. The next assumption is that Katie Lee does not deserve hate. Obviously, sorry, I didn't read that name out. This is from Caitlin. <laughs> Obviously, she does not deserve hate. Like, she's such a positive person, spreads positivity for everyone. Literally, so many people look up to her. So why does she deserve hate? Like, no one deserves hate, but haters are motivators. Love you, haters. <laughs> <laughs> the next assumption is from Amy, who said Katie Lee wants Libby to dress more feminine. Do you no. want me to dress more feminine? Don't get me wrong, I think she looks beautiful when she, like, wears my clothes and it makes me feel like poo. Because you look a lot better than me. <laughs> however, I want Libby to dress however she feels confident and I know she does not feel as confident in girly clothes. It's the next assumption! The next assumption is from Amy, who also said, if Katie Lee didn't do TikTok, Libby wouldn't do TikTok. This is, in fact, true. A hundred percent true. Well, Libby would most probably do TikTok, but the not thing is, the way I, she's doing it now. I wouldn't have the confidence to video myself or take any photos if I didn't meet Katie Lee. So I wouldn't be where I am today. It just makes my heart melt every time you say it. No, when I first met Libby, she obviously had the app, but she could not bring herself to post any videos. I used to cover my face and everything. So thanks to this girl, I am who I am today. I am myself. But no, like, I feel like if we didn't get together, we wouldn't post as often anyway. Like, I don't even think I'd post as often. We just wouldn't really post, would we? No. We might post like everyone else does, you know, just for jokes, but we wouldn't be where we are without each other. And obviously your support, so thank you all so we much. Love Next you assumption all. is from Molly, who said you're the more masculine one in a relationship. We just want to clarify this. I am not classing myself as anything. I do not class myself as a masculine, lesbian, or like a stud. I'm just living me. I'm just like who I am. I dress how I feel comfortable. I act the way I, I'm comfortable. And I don't want to be something I'm not. I'm going to say, the thing is, obviously in TikTok videos, we might put 
the mom mask one or something but that's just for relatable content libby is libby i'm not girly i don't wear makeup I don't wear dresses. Well, I'm not comfortable girly like sometimes. that. But I act quite girly. You're like you are a princess. She's a bigger but princess. Than I don't me. try to dress like in a certain way to anyone else. Yeah. Like a stud or a masculine person. Yeah, I'm just me. Libby is just Libby. <laughs> Next assumption is from Leah, who said, "On the weekends, you like to stay in with movies, etc., instead of partying." Yes. Yes, this is true. We do not like to go out and party. We are Starting. more of the, let's go to the movies, let's go shopping, let's go do anything else apart from parties. Don't get me wrong, we might have a drink every now and then with our family, but we'll never go partying. Like, nightclubs are just not our thing. No. We could go for a meal and get a drink with that, but no, we're not party people. I feel like I were more of a party person when I was younger. Were you a more party person when you were younger? No. Have you just never been a party person? No, I'm too awkward. <laughs> I don't, no. The next assumption is. is from Rebecca, who said you're very wealthy at young age. Right, so I wouldn't class ourselves as very wealthy, but me and Libby May have had do like jobs from a very young age. Where with, with every, you your job? With every comfortable, I got my first job at 14, and I've always saved up since then. I'll always put, like, money aside. And, and I'm going to say, I got my first job at 14 and I've always put my money aside, like, because we haven't really gone out. We're not party people. I've never spent my money for the sake of it either. I don't really buy expensive things. No, I'm going to say, like, we'll get it. We'll get what we want for Christmas and stuff, like what our parents can afford us, but we don't spend our money on things that we don't need kind of thing. For example, we will treat ourselves here and then, but... We prefer to save our money. Like, other people our age might spend most of the money on going out every weekend. Yeah, that's just That's where we can save it kind of thing. So, no, we wouldn't say we're very wealthy. We just, for our age, we're, we're, do, we're doing good, yeah. But thank you for your question. Well, assumption. And the last one! I thought you were going to say assumption. Is from, that's I think awkward. it's Sarah. I don't know if that's how you say it. But it is, you, you love, love your, your supporters. supporters. Yes, yes, of course, we love our supporters. We, we would not be here. Without you. So, of course, Thank we you love you. Thank you so much to everyone that does support us every single day. On every single social media that we have. Because if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be where we are. But you also get us through every single day. People don't realise how much they help us, do they? All these comments, all these positive comments literally get us through the day. The kind videos, w the messages. When we're feeling down, like, we literally look through the comments and it is so good. We, we, we literally remember to ourselves how many people's day we have made. It's why we do it. When we receive messages saying, like, you've helped me and stuff, it makes us think we are doing this for a reason. There's been so many days where we've been like... I wouldn't say we want to give up, but you have your down days, but then we think to ourselves... What about everyone who we are helping? And yeah. that is you guys, all you supporters. So, <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't for you, we most probably wouldn't have the motivation to post every day, but you guys are what get us through every day, aren't Yeah, they? so thank you so much for your support, everyone. We love you all. We love you. Thank you and so that much. concludes our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you all enjoyed our video. If you did enjoy our video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe turn post notifications on and we will try and post so much more often guys we do apologize for not posting but we are back and better than ever so thank you thank you guys